A good evening, fellow seekers of happiness and lack of stress. It's better than serenity, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're lack of stress for serenity afterwards. Okay, so seekers of lack of stress, but seek. I don't, I'm not even sure I like that word. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Tonight we're going to be talking about self-talk, which is also known as affirmations, which is a word I kind of take exception to or got problems with simply because affirming something means agreeing that it is so. It does not mean what the new agey guru -y type people have said it means, which is saying abracadabra, which is essentially what they mean. You say one thing, it will appear. And if you dare think something negative, then that will appear. And at the same time, they say stupid things like, ah, oh, yes, but the subconscious doesn't recognise the word no or not. Well, in that case, how come it manages to recognise the negative thing that the same guru then says, oh, but you've, you've placed an order for something negative. So because you didn't believe it wholeheartedly, it's like some doctor that says, if you believe me, then you'll be cured. But if you don't believe me, you won't be cured. Or let's take it a step further. It's like the old ducking stool for witches. If she floats, she's guilty. If she sinks, then she was innocent. But oh dear, she died. Uh -uh. And that's how affirmations work for them. In other words, there's no comeback for them. You either had, and affirmations here also include prayers. Okay? Let's be totally clear about this. If you are praying, saying thank you, that's one thing. If you are praying for a cure for some illness or other, medicines are a much better bet. And if you want to take it that far, far then you could also say, or oh, maybe your God, the supreme being, the supreme intelligence, created medicine and gave the practitioners of medicine the knowledge and the means to practice it in order to benefit you. So didn't have to, you know, perform or, or necessitate the energy to perform a little miracle, especially for you, one of eight billion people. You know, go to a doctor, try conventional medicine. Rant over affirmations, however you want to put them. The people telling you these things, they've got it both ways. If it's successful, it was down to them. If it's unsuccessful, it was down to you not believing, not believing hard enough. Doesn't work that way. That's not how affirmations, self-talk work. And they can work for you. And we're talking here on this channel, not about performing miracles and manifesting Lamborghinis in your in your life, we're talking about getting rid of stress, okay? And I know that there are a lot of people, their affirmations consist of, my mortgage is paid off, I don't have this student loan anymore. I don't honestly think that repeating a set of words is gonna make that happen. Abracadabra, okay? I'm gonna say it for you. I'm gonna say abracadabra for all the student loans and all the mortgages in the world to be paid off and everybody to win the lottery sometime over the next three months. So it's staggered, not like in Bruce Almighty, okay? I'm really believing I can see it happening. Okay, abracadabra. There. Now, what are you gonna think of me if I say, if it happens, you can thank me. I'm, 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 I'm the magician. But if it doesn't happen for you, well, I'm sorry. Your faith in my saying abracadabra wasn't strong enough. You're going to call me out and say, what a load of old nonsense, aren't you? Because it is a load of old nonsense. So how do affirmations or self-talk actually work? How is it that they can be a powerful tool for us? Well, we'll cover part one today because we're approaching the five minute mark and we'll approach or deal with part two tomorrow. Part one is that this whole thing about the subconscious recognizing negatives is not true. Otherwise, it wouldn't say to you, don't do that. 
Oh no, you mustn't do that. It acts as a force for restraining you with fear and other things, doesn't it? So it does recognise negatives and it knows how to use them. So part one, when you experience self-talk, like that phrase I just used, you must not do that, what word is it using? Is it using I or is it using you? So if it's saying you are stupid, then that is how your self-talk should be phrased. Now, I know I've said this in a previous video, I'm saying it again because it's important. If the voice that you hear says, oh, I'm, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, then I is how you should phrase all your self-talk, the deliberate self-talk that you're going to say to yourself to correct all this. And if it's we, we don't do this, we don't do that, people don't do this, people don't do that, one doesn't do this, one doesn't do that, however it is, that is how you should phrase your self-talk. Okay, so when you start writing, and you're going to have to write them, otherwise you won't remember them, your affirmations, then today is a beautiful day is okay. But you are going to be successful is better than I am going to be successful if your self-talking voice normally talks to you as you. All right, 6.42. We'll go on to the second part tomorrow. I think there's three parts to this. Anyway, okay. Uh, good night and here's to your great happiness.